Well, the Phillies making a run at back to back World Series titles, which is a rare thing to do in baseball, especially in the National League. It's been a decade almost since the last team to win back to back World Series championships. The Yankees did it three times consecutively back in the late 90s and up to 2000. But the first step is over for Philadelphia. They went through the 162 game schedule and a six game division win this year in the East outlasting the Florida Marlins and the Atlanta Braves and a 93 win season for Philadelphia. Both pitchers performing well. Jimenez with four innings just three hits allowed. Meanwhile, no Cliff Lee with five innings with no runs and Lee has retired 11 straight and no walks for him either. Three and one to Jason Worth. Full count. Three one slider. Not giving in. Now Jason Worth. 36 homers this year seventh. In the National League the Phillies. Big sluggers up and down their lineup. Ryan Howard, Jason Worth, Raul Ibanez, all in the top 10 in home runs this year. Jason Worth getting a chance to play every day, too. Remember last year, even though he had a good year, he was still splitting some time out in right field, but not anymore. He's established himself as an everyday guy. Full count to Worth. Gets away with the first walk issue by Waldo Jimenez. Minnesota winning an extra innings. They defeat the Tigers. They come all the way back. They were seven down with a month to play. They end up winning the American League Central. This is an awesome game last night. As good as you ever want to see. While Sabathia takes his 19 wins and a Cy Young Award to the mound tonight. It's a rookie for the Twins, Brian Dunsing, making just his 10th start of his major league career. Steps in to the Hornets nest at Yankee Stadium. As Jimenez is now struggling with his control behind Raul Ibanez. There's the matchup tonight. Brian Dunsing, 26 years of age. In his first season of the big leagues gets the call against CC Sabathia. A 19 game winner this year tied for the major league lead in victories. What an assignment for that kid fencing. Big pitch coming for Jimenez 2 and 0 on Ibanez. Ibanez likes the ball middle up and away from him. If he drops something down and in he will pull it but he likes the ball. Up and out over the plate. Talibania is grounded into a 6 4 3 ending double play in the second inning. Jason Wirt looks like he wants to run at first base. The Phillies, when they run, they're usually successful. Yeah, they all have a green light. The only thing Charlie puts on is a stop sign. Eighty one percent success rate in stolen bases. That was number one in the major leagues and they've been number one for three straight years. The last three and eighty four point five percent rate. Charlie Manuel turns his running game over to his first base coach Davey Lopes. A great base stealer in his time as a player as Jimenez falls behind three and one. On Ibanez there's Davey Lopes. He's been a major part of their base stealing success. And of course, you got to have guys who can run before you can steal bases. And they certainly have a wealth of speed on their team. We'll see if Worth is on the move here. Three balls and a strike on Ibanez. And a bouncer gets by Helton. That is going to get down in the corner. Worth has great speed. Up with it, Hawk. Worth on his way to the plate. He will score. 
And the Phillies have the lead. A double and an RBI from Raul Ibanez. So it's Raul Ibanez who comes up with the first Phillies RBI in the 2009 postseason. Now he's at second for Pedro Feliz. Only fitting that Ibanez, who signed a three year deal this offseason with Philadelphia, comes up with the big hit. He had a huge first half, quieted down after growing an injury. He's up his numbers in half number two, but he said he's healthy now. And he produces a big hit in this fifth inning. There were a lot of people that raised, had raised eyebrows over their signing of Ibanez and the money he got, the term of the contract, but nobody was questioning the Phillies after the season he had. Great sign. A walk and a double to start it. Ibanez in scoring position. And Jimenez gives him a close shave, high and tight. And Jimenez falling behind the third consecutive batter in this inning. Mentioned that this is a lineup full of guys who are good fastball hitters. This is one of them. He likes the ball away from him, too. It'll bounce her out to Barmas. This will get the job done for the Phillies as Feliz makes it out, but a productive out. Advancing Ibanez to third base with just one away in the fifth. So here is the Phillies catcher, Carlos Ruiz. And a runner at third and one away. The Rockies bring their infield in. Ruiz, a guy who doesn't strike out much. He doesn't walk much either. And a good fastball hitter. Evens account at a ball and a strike. Ruiz with a wrist injury just a few weeks ago as uh, the Phillies were winding up the regular season. Had an oblique injury earlier this year in April, but he injured his wrist two weeks ago. Charlie Manuel said he's back to 100%. He's in the lineup mostly because of how he handles the pitching staff and controls the running game of the opposition. Yeah, he's got a good arm. Seven for 16, getting runners in from third, less than two outs. like everybody in the crowds are right is that bat sailed about 15 rows up used to be you'd go into the crowd and you know you'd give away one of your pitchers bats to get your gamer back uh-huh not anymore Philly fan with a bat in his hands I'm just going to say in Philadelphia you let him keep it no negotiating they, they could have it go get a new one so Ruiz with a new piece of lumber Ball and two strikes. Trying to two and two on Carlos Ruiz. Pretty solid at bat here by Ruiz. He didn't even flinch on that breaking ball that was inside there. Thirty years of age from Panama. Certainly earned his way to the big leagues. He spent eight years in the minor leagues. In a run producing spot here as he sends one to right, slices it foul in the seats. Just a little late on that 99 mile an hour heater, but he did get the barrel on it. And then it got away from his fastball a little bit this inning because he was up with it. He couldn't get it over the plate. It's a big out for Jimenez. Got the pitcher coming up next. Full three and two. He should get a good pitch to handle here. That was the changeup, and Tori Alba did a nice job of blocking that 56 footer.
42 straight sellouts here at Citizens Bank Park to end the season. They drew 3.6 million plus. The 3 2 on the way, and Ruiz bounces one foul. He hangs tough. Well, Ruiz knows, as well as Jimenez on the mound, the way to the end of this inning is an out here, and then the pitcher coming up next with two away. 23 pitches in this inning as Jimenez challenges the Phillies catcher. Infield in, some holes are opened up. And a line drive to right. That is going to fall, a base hit, and it gets by Hawk. That one will go to the track. Ruiz in the second base. It'll be an RBI. And the Phillies on top, two to nothing in the fifth. And barring a double play, Jimenez will have to deal with Jimmy Rollins next. Lee with a base hit and a stolen base in the third inning for Philadelphia. The Phillies hit so many homers. Brian that it kind of covered up the fact that the team did not really hit well with runners in scoring position. There's Joe Bima loosening up for the Rocks, Rockies in their pen. But as a team they Phillies were just 219 for the year and that was 14th in the National League. A good situational hitting here in the fifth however. There's a breaking ball for a strike. The Phillies rely on the home run ball more than any other club in the National League to produce their runs. If you think about the at bat by Ibanez working deep in account before doubling to right, and then Ruiz being down early, working the count full, and then he singles to right to drive in the run. But Jimenez, 98, 99 mile an hour fastball, getting away from that on a 3 2 count. It's a bit surprising. It's a good slider, but he left two of them right in the middle of the plate. And a breaking ball. Jimenez has Ruiz between second and third. Atkins will run him back. And the out is made. A base running blunder for Carlos Ruiz. Rollins has put the glasses on. There's a lot of dust floating around this wind. It's Jimmy Rollins. Jumps on the first pitch and a base hit to right. The third hit of the inning for the Phillies. And the 30th pitch of the inning for Ubaldo Jimenez getting into that danger territory for a manager. Well, and that mistake, too, by Ruiz cost him a run. Well, today's power performance is brought to you by the new movie Astro Boy in theaters October 23rd. We're looking at the home run leaders. The top two home run hitting teams in the National League in the Phillies and the Colorado Rockies. The Phillies back over 200 home runs once again this year. Just astonishing numbers with 224 team home runs this season. And look at the difference between them and the Rockies, number one and two. 34 home run difference. Two on with two out. Here's Victorino. Two runs are in for the Phillies. RBIs from Ibanez and Ruiz. And a long inning for Ubaldo Jimenez. And Joe Bimel continues to loosen in the Rockies bullpen. You want to think along with the manager here. You've got the big lefty sluggers coming up next in Utley and Ryan Howard. This could be Jimenez's final hitter if he does not retire from Torino. If he went, able to check his swing, says Ron Culpa. And his two balls and a strike. Again, Jimenez falling behind a Philly hitter in the center. Uh, he was able to stop it. 
Good call by Culpa. Three balls and a strike. The Phillies trying to deliver the knockout punch to the Colorado Ace right here and now in the fifth inning. And that was 98. He just couldn't find the mark. He's been throwing a lot of 3-1 sliders. Victorino in the left. Gonzalez settles under it. And the side is retired. But the Phillies do some damage. Two runs on three hits. Ibanez with an RBI double. Carlos Ruiz with an RBI single.